Time to bring her home. She's ready. She's ready to come home. Welcome back to the garage. We are way behind. We got a lot to do. Let's get started. So just a couple of updates real quick for you guys. We got our headers in. I'm gonna do a separate film on that uh, pretty soon. And we got some more parts in. We got our coolers, we got our radiator, extension hose, which is all up in the way. Tons of tools everywhere, a mess. Our flanges from the old headers, which we cut off. I actually went to Andy's and uh, we were gonna make a jig with the old headers so that I didn't have to do a whole lot of fabricating. But that didn't work out. Um, the headers are actually over instead of up and down some. So they, they weren't gonna line up. So we just have to refabricate the whole turbo kit again, the whole hot side again, um, like originally planned. So it's not a big deal, um, but it is gonna take some time because we do everything out of here in the garage. So it's gonna take some work and I'm gonna have to have some help. But the car's back. That's the best thing about everything. Um, when you take the fenders off, take the old spark plug wires off, and get the draw shaft out, get the wheels off, get it up in the air a little bit um, so we can get it ready for the transmission and the engine, which is actually on the way from our buddies over at American Speed Shops. They refreshed that 427 for me. It's good to go. It should be on, it should be here soon. Um, and then Josh helped us out by refreshing the Turbo 400 and we cleaned out the uh, converter there. So there's no more side jobs planned. It's focusing on the bullet and of course Andy's rat rod too. So did you guys miss it? Did y'all miss it? Cause I know I freaking did. I love this freaking car. As much as I hate it sometimes, uh, I love it. And look, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have no passenger seat because we did a little trade with our buddy Matt with the uh, Coyote Trans Am. If you guys are familiar, here's the link to that video. Um, he had a spare carbon fiber seat, so I traded him the passenger seat, just a little bit of weight uh, weight reduction uh, mob there. But we just have to bolt that back in. I, I usually don't have a passenger anyway, so save a little bit of weight, put that carbon fiber seat in it, it's not a big deal. And what else? Well, just waiting, really. Trying my best to pre-plan. Hopefully by next weekend, I'll have a running car. Maybe not drivable, but running. And then from there, it's just the last little ends and it's gonna go all the way up till the day of Texas 2K. We're probably gonna be testing at the event um, during one of the qualifying days, I'm sure. Just like normal because we can't seem to help ourselves. That's just how we roll. Our spare parts over there are tons of, tons of parts. Uh, one critical change that we're gonna make for this season. I'm gonna switch where the coils are located. Right now, I have them tucked inside this fender right here. Um, so I have these really long spark plug wires, which let me grab one so I can show you guys. These really long, um, high heat, super insulated spark plug wires that we bought throughout the year to help us from uh, getting ignition breakup. So we're gonna ditch that. Um, I'm either thinking about relocating them to like inside the strut tower, like, like right here pointing down, or possibly just going ahead and ditching the valve covers, buying a new set that have the coils already mounted on them because valve covers that we have, um, they don't have the coils because I have my name on them. So they, it was a nice clean look, but for Racing purposes to keep it as clean as possible. We're gonna ditch where they're relocated, try to put them back near stock location or actual stock location. So that's the plan. Hope it wasn't too much for you guys, but we just gotta get to work. It's, it's, just, it's just a little bit of work. It's not, it's not anything major. Um, there's a couple hoses that we are gonna have to replace because they're damaged. So we're gonna make that order on Monday. And I think I covered everything. Getting the hot side and the cold side to be near or really close to where they were last time, the biggest key. And then trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this, this coil. So that's it. Let's get to work. So if you look at these, uh, these cell ceramic spark plugs, that's what we're gonna run from now on. And these are pretty short, so I'm gonna have to figure out I'm gonna mount the coils in order to meet that. 
Um, other than that, I mean, it's not nothing major. Also, our war throttle body, um, actually, it's got a little hiccup in it. Right around there, I've been noticing that it's been snagging. So I reached out to them and they actually sent me some replacement parts. The, uh, the little actuator there and a new spring. So we're gonna replace that on the throttle body so that it's smooth like it used to be. And we have that to do, plus trying to figure out where all these bolts go to. <laughs> Our headers and a bunch of parts. I painted. The, I went ahead and painted the radiator and cooler since we had some downtime, and I had to do that anyways. And I'm going to do the pipes too. I just want to make sure that the cold side fits properly. So one of the other things that we're going to change out, uh, so you can see, I pulled the column out um, because we have our new headers that are going to fit a whole lot better. Uh, we're going to be able to change the end out on the steering column, so we can run a straight shaft from the steering rack over to the where the column is. It'll be one straight shot. Previously. Um, because of the header placement, one of the modifications we had to make is we had to run like a three P, a three joint system um, with a little collar that you can see the little end right there. Um, it was welded to the frame to keep it from flexing. So, so that's why I have the column out. I'll make that modification to the shop and then bring it back. Um, but just, just another thing to add to the list. I also did make my list that we have to accomplish. As you can see, it's not a whole lot of, not a whole lot of thing. Most of this stuff, I can probably accomplish half this stuff in one weekend. But we're heading in the right direction. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed my uh, fancy Holly screen bracket that holds my screen up to the column. I actually made this about three years ago when I when I when I went Holly. Uh, it's <laughs> it's made out of mild steel, um, so it's pretty heavy. But uh, it was just something that I had an idea to make um, because I wanted the screen closer to me. Um, of course, now Motion makes those and sells them and I slept on that piece. Now, if you have a good idea, don't ever hesitate. Uh, next accomplished thing on the list, just trying to stay busy really, but we got our new carbon fiber seat mounted to our brackets for the passenger side. Fits in there nice, I already test fit it, so. Uh, so that's done, we just gotta put it in um, and then uh, keep chugging away on this list. Recap, have faith. This car will be running for Texas UK. It will be at the event and we will be clicking off some fast passes. Um, it, we're no stranger to pressure, N not just on this car, Andy's car is also getting back together last minute, uh, but we're okay with it. Yeah, we got this under control. We're gonna focus, we're gonna get to work, and we're gonna get it done. We, we got a lot accomplished today. Um, my daughter helped me out, so it's just kind of like a father-daughter thing. But like I said, just a small update on what's going on with the bullet. I know you haven't seen it around. I haven't been posting anything. I've been kind of keeping things a secret. We're not really changing, like, we're not really doing a huge setup change. It's just little small things here and there. I did sell my turbos and headers to Andy, as you guys know, the video's up here. So that means we're getting new headers and turbos. I'm not gonna tell you guys what we went with just yet. They obviously are going to be more efficient, but, uh, I'm not gonna tell you what, we, what we're doing just yet, but it's, it's gonna look the same, relatively. It'll, it'll all look exactly like it was before. Um, it just should be more consistent, uh, faster, and hopefully quicker out of the hole, but that's not where we're gonna stop. Um, after Texas 2K, I'm actually going to sell the Turbo 400. I'm gonna post it up for sale. So if you guys are looking for a level 4.5, actually upgraded level 4.5, because we upgraded the shaft on it, Turbo 400, this one's gonna be for sale. I'm also gonna sell the shifter um, because we're gonna go power glide on this car. We're gonna try to save a little bit more weight, go power glide. We're also gonna ch we're also gonna send out the wheels to get some bead locks on them because we do have about three to four inches of movement in the tire every pass. So that coupled with the, with the power glide, we're gonna try to leave quicker out of the hole, reduce that 60 foot time. That'll net us better results at the end. So that's it for now. Just a small update, what, what's going on, what we're doing. The car is still, uh, the, I still own the car for those of you asking. Um, this is, no, this is not the Coyote Swap Trans Am car. This is my car. But that's it for now. I'm gonna get back to work. Subscribe!